the next question that we are going to discuss is a 8 year old boy was admitted to hospital on the emergency basis after a motor vehicle trauma so it's a rta he complained of pain over the left flank he did not have any peritoneal sign and examination was unremarkable over the left flank except for the left flank tenderness ct scan showed thorax and abdomen was uh, ct of the thorax and abdomen was done which revealed a splenic injury with mild perisplenic condition the most preferred management for this so now here we have to see the protocol of splenic injury let us quickly go to the grading concept of splenic trauma and then we will see the management when you talk about the splenic injury or splenic trauma students the most important thing is grading and in grading we have to see it according to the contusion and the laceration so contusion and laceration they are very important grade 1 we have less than 10% hematoma or less than 1 cm laceration grade 2 10 to 50% hematoma or 1 to 3 cm laceration grade 3 more than 50% hematoma or more than 3 cm laceration grade 4 remember more than 25% devascularization now students always remember more than 25% devascularization is not a easy or is not, not a small thing this is only possible when there is hilum injury so if there is more than 25% devascularization this is equal to hilum injury and this actually qualifies for the grade 4 grade 5 complete devascularization complete devascularization point number 1 and the second is second is shattered spleen shattered spleen so we have shattered spleen and complete devascularization as grade five when we talk about the treatment the approach to the splenic injury when you talk about the splenic injury the first thing is you will have to go for the status of the patient remember the dictum is you can live without a spleen but you cannot live with the bleeding spleen so if you go for the spleen and the patient is unstable you always have to go for splenectomy don't have a second thought go for a splenectomy if the patient is stable if the patient is stable go for the ccct on ct scan on ct scan you might get to see a pseudo aneurysm pseudo aneurysm if there is a pseudo aneurysm if there is a pseudo aneurysm go for resection go for splenectomy splenectomy is the preferred option remember the other alternatives you can also go for angioembolization angioembolization the next option is you can get to see you can get to see subcapsular hematoma remember splenic subcapsular hematoma is a rare entity where the spleen will continue to bleed unless and until it is removed if you don't remove the spleen will get fractured and remember if it fractures will have a massive sudden hypovolemic shock so subcapsular hematoma again the concept is splenectomy others are you can get to see the contrast blush contrast blush is defined as small controlled leak from the marginal vessels of the hilum and remember it is despite the fact it is grade 4 despite the fact it is equal to grade 4 we go for angio embolization angio embolization is what is and the last is we have the grades if you talk about the grade we have grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 we go for conservative management conservative management that is observation grade 4 and 5 we always prefer to go for splenectomy over splenography it is only kids we which who are having more than 50% of the functional spleen where we go for splenography otherwise this option is not utilized for many so the answer for this i will go for conservative management and answer is a for this